week we're going to be working on a penny spinners card. Um, we're going to start with our um, five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock folded in half. And I have pre ran this through the perfect polka dots uh, texture embossing folder through the big shot. And I'm going to run this in here and I'm going to push it up as far as I can and I'm going to just slide this. This is the window punch. And we're going to put, I'm punching three of those all the way across. Now I see a little divot where I miss, so I'm going to go in and just clean that edge up so the penny doesn't get stuck there. Once you've completed that, we're going to turn it over and we're going to put some dimensionals on the back. Now I use more than I normally would um, simply because I want to keep the card up off the thing. But you want to also make sure that you're not going to be putting these where your pennies could possibly bump into them. So you want to leave them up high enough. So we're going to go like that. Then we're going to peel all of these backings off. How many of you find these like in the most interesting places? It's almost like a Hansel and Gretel scenario. Hansel and Gretel scenario. They're all over the house and somebody might think you've, you're lost and they just seem to keep showing up over and over and over. So I'm sticking this on the front of my card like this and I've got a little piece of designer paper and I'm just tucking this in the bottom and this is just simply how I designed the card. The designer paper isn't for anything special. And now I need two pennies. So you're going to have one penny. You're going to put your dimensional on there, peel it off, and you're going to lay the other penny right on top so you have this sandwich with the dimensional in between. Then you're going to put it on here and you're just going to very carefully lift this edge up so that the penny now fits in your little groove. And what I found is it worked good to just kind of go in and twist that penny a little to break down those little um, corners on my dimensional. Now we're going to take um, our Patterned occasion stamp set, which of course they're all my favorites, so I say that every week. I think last week I said that the Feeling Sentimental was my favorite, but now this week this one's my favorite. So you know it just depends on what day you call. Um, I'm taking out the whole lot of love little cup, and I'm going to color in the cup with our raspberry, um, rich razzleberry and some basic gray. You need the fat end of your markers for this. Huff it a little if you want and we're going to just stamp that like that. Now I need my one and a quarter inch punch and I'm going to go in and punch that whole lot of love which... okay. Wrong punch. I need the one and three eighths inch punch, so I'm going to go in. Okay, now I'm going to punch this out with my one and three eighths inch circle punch. In the circles number two, Big's Originals die for the Big Shot. There is one in there that perfectly mats our one and three eighths inch circle punch, so I'm going to put that on there. And then I have um, also pre-punched in Daffodil Delight with our scallop circle punch like that and we get our card back here oops wrong card that one's already decorated and I'm going to adhere um, this embellishment with glue dots so you want to stick one right in the center you're going to push down and there's that part of your card now every card needs a sentiment so I've got a little piece of Whisper White. It's um, one inch wide. And depending on your sentiment, how long you want it. I'm going to take our happy birthday. I'm just going to stamp this on here like this. 
I always think you're going to catch the top of my head when I'm leaning over my work. Now I want to make this kind of a pennant style. So I've taken our one and a quarter inch punch square, and you can really use any square, but I'm just going to go in, punch that out, and it makes a perfect pennant. Because if I cut it with a scissor, I end up, you know, with a piece that's about an inch long by the time I cut this way and this way and that way and to get it just right. Putting that on our card like that. And I'm going to embellish it with one of the Sycamore Street um, buttons from Celebrations also that I've tied a little baker's twine in. And there is our whole lot of love, happy birthday, penny spinner card. I hope you enjoy this week's technique and don't forget to stop over at my website. Uh, blog www.stampstodiefor.com and pick up your free little technique page and make a little spinner for your technique page with the directions so you remember how to make it. Have a great week!